this entire cast is fantastic in this third act from Charlie Dean to like Harris Dickinson. Woody Harrelson's actually so funny with this cameo, but Dolly DeLeon steals the freaking show in this third act. Hey everyone, welcome back to Canon Cinema. I'm Amanda, otherwise known as AMX NDA Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. Today I will be reviewing the film that actually surprised me the most from TIFF, and it is Triangle of Sadness, directed by Ruben Ostland. I did not know what to expect going into this movie. It is one of the best satires that I have seen in regards to the class system, in regards to social media and how that has worked into this now, and literally fighting for survival. I know that that sounds like it's all over the place, but it isn't because everyone is fighting for survival in life whether you know it's in your daily job it's in relationships it's you know it's fighting for yourself basically to be noticed to be seen and we get that through different lenses we get it with you know modeling careers with influencers with like you know these like big corporate ceos talks about every single level of class this the class system is something that is really explored in this in three different ways it's kind of split up into three different sections as well which i find really interesting and i think that it is the most fun that i've had at a theater this year for an indie film and god bless neon rated because they constantly constantly choose such different projects that have stayed in my mind for like an eternity shout out to titan by julia ducourneau because holy crap it still has stayed in my mind after a year of uh from watching it so the thing with triangle of sadness is that this three-part structure definitely works because it just continues to get worse and worse for these people and you see the perspective of money from two different sides throughout the entire film and there's conversations about money about socialism about so many different things and how humans conduct themselves in the world and the different classes are shown you get to see what pretty privileges through influencers and what influencers actually do all day what models do all day and it's really just an interesting conversation starter the thing about triangle of sadness is that it's really hard to talk about without giving certain things away but there are so many wonderful aspects of it i really do think that it could have tightened up a bit it did run a bit long it did drag in certain parts but i was also still very much engaged in everything that was happening because these characters are being placed in certain situations to show who they really are. Their true colors slowly start to come out. Everything's kind of peeled back. And my favorite section is probably on the yacht. And on the yacht, you have the people who are, you know, the workers. They're, you know, below deck and there's different sections of workers. They're the ones that actually go help the guests and they do whatever they want, whatever they ask for, they get. And they're very accommodating. And you see the hierarchy on this ship. You see three different levels. You see the captain. You see, you know, the captain's right hand. You see the workers, like, in the kitchen. You see the workers on deck. You see the workers below deck. And it's just really interesting to see the structure because everyone acts a different way. They feel kind of entitled that they're there. Like, this is my vacation. I can do whatever I want. And you hear their conversations and how they talk about money and who they are and if it's like a long lineage of where they come from and all of that so on the yacht this is the beginning of what i find to be one of the best sequences that i've ever seen actually this year so the people who are wealthy they act like they know everything they're very privileged and then the second that the yacht starts you know teetering against like these heavy waters there is a level of being seasick that they didn't they were not prepared for so the meal that comes out from you know the kitchen and you know the waiters and all of that they're used to the boat basically moving in this way and they are completely unfazed so the meals 
that are handed out to these privileged wealthy people do not agree with them because of the seasickness and things start to happen i think it's in the trailer it's in the poster you see that they are vomiting everywhere and it is possibly one of my favorite sequences because in context of the movie it's just absolutely hilarious that it goes on for that long and then it leads into the third act of this film this entire cast is fantastic in this third act from charbly dean to like harris dickinson Woody Harrelson's actually so funny with this cameo, but Dolly De Leon steals the freaking show in this third act. This is where the class structure kind of flips, and that's why I love the third act of this movie so much, because they are fighting for survival, and then the power dynamics change, and that's why I think that it really is a very slow movie, but it's worth every minute. It's worth every minute to watch this cast completely descend into survival mode after being at the top of their game, whether they were modeling, whether they were influencers, whether they were, you know, working on the ship, like things just completely changed by the end of this. And I know that it's very unexpected, the third act, but it still fits so much because they were at sea and now they have to fight for survival. So I thought it was really interesting what they were reduced to do, basically. And I love the character dynamics in the Triangle of Sadness. I thought it was something different. It's, it, it ended in a different way. The story is really engaging. I thought the script was really strong just because of the amount of conversations that are placed in certain scenes that don't necessarily mean nothing, but it sits with you because then as the overarching concept of you know testing wealth and testing status it makes complete sense that these conversations just fl ebb and flow throughout this entire movie and i think that it's kind of genius what was done in triangle of sadness so if you guys can find it somewhere i still think that it's one of neon's best it's one of the most entertaining that i've watched it's it's interesting it really is and it's worth it's worth your time it really is worth your time. I gave Triangle of Sadness a 4 out of 5. I'm someone who enjoys slow burns if they're engaging and they do something different. And the dialogue in this movie is just so rich and interesting. And I really love the power shifts. So please let me know what your favorite neon rated movie is down below. If you guys enjoyed this review, please like and subscribe. You can always follow me over at AMX ND Reviews on Twitter, Instagram, and Letterboxd. I'll catch you guys next time. Keep watching movies.